In Tunisia, human rights activists protested on Monday outside an appeals court in the center of the country, as a man known only as Daniel appeared before judges on the first day of an appeal hearing. The defendant is accused of homosexuality and faces returning to prison for more than two years, in a case dating back to 2015. Today, in front of the Court of Appeal of Kairouan, in a demonstration to support Daniel, the only person remaining in the case of Kairouan since 2015, we are waiting for a decision that will bring justice to the victims. Most have left the country because of abuse and homophobia. Many held their placards calling for the article of shame to be removed, referring to Article 230 of the Penal Code, which punishes homosexual acts by both men and women with a prison sentence. I look at the case today in all its parts as a case to rehabilitate rights and freedoms, not to attack residential sanctity or physical sanctity. Daniel, along with five other men, was originally charged in 2015 with homosexual acts, which is punishable by up to three years in prison in Tunisia.